Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 4th, 2020. So yesterday, boy, the bulls just pushed and pushed and pushed, breaking um, the NASDAQ uh, nearly out to new record highs. We tested those record highs, and the Dow pushed up to its 200-day moving average. But right at the end of the day, we saw a little profit taking come in. So what does that mean for this morning's open? Well, how about we just kind of settle in, try to set our bias aside, and let's get ready for the morning market prep video for Thursday, Thursday, June 4th. So let's take a look at what we've got going on this morning. Um, first off, um, taking a look at the current trends, um, obviously the bulls are very much in control. As a matter of fact, they are steeply um, rallying here in the market. And I think, honestly, kind of stretching um, this rubber band pretty darn tight here. But the bullish optimism is unbelievable right now um, in the market. There just doesn't seem to be anything that concerns them about the economy looking forward. Now, that being said, we want to take a look at what we've got going on in this chart. And if we notice right across here, we do have some price resistance. If we can rally up that far, that could be an interesting situation here um, for us to to uh, deal with just all of that price congestion in here. If we happen to find a little pullback right in here, a little bit of selling pressure, notice all of the price resistance that we have in this area um, of the chart. Let's also keep in mind, I'm going to remove that line, and let's also keep in mind that if we take a look at our technical indicators, we have uh, the Dow now testing its 200-day moving average. We sliced right through that 500-day like it wasn't even there and popped right into the 200-day moving average yesterday. So we have that to consider as a potential resistance point. Now, yesterday we saw a little bit of selling coming in right at the end of the market, a little bit of profit-taking, um, which would, really isn't that big of a surprise after such a strong move. Let's keep in mind, Let's go to uh, the Dow, and um, if we look at the Dow and just take a look at and just measure from yesterday's close right about there to the low of just four days ago, we are up 1,240 points in the Dow. So pretty remarkable uh, move overall. And just that kind of rally would kind of suggest that there may be a little bit of profit taking. Um, so shouldn't be a major surprise that there would be a little bit of profit taking potentially coming in. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY also very strong uh, four straight days up almost every day a gap to move us higher in this market so very very strong here um, in that chart and if we take a look we're, we ran into this price resistance in that chart right there there's that little high from the downtrend move we ran into that and we're catching just a little tiny pullback this morning you can see we're gapping slightly lower here this morning um, on that move uh, bullish trend still in effect uh, no matter what um, you see in this uh, chart uh, whether bearishness or anything this morning we are still in a bullish trend and the bulls are large and in charge here in this chart. Technically speaking, let's look at our moving averages. You can see that we broke and held above our 200-day moving average in this rally. But let's keep in mind a pullback, a pullback um, to that 200-day moving average. If we look at the S&P 500, if we were just to pull back and test, I'm going to try and get that marked about right there and just pull back to that 200-day moving average. That is a pretty substantial pullback in the SPY of about 116 points, or the S&P 500. So just keep that in mind, just a, a 
a pullback to there is a pretty substantial move in the market. So kind of keep that in mind as you're planning your day forward. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ, the QQQ, we rallied right up here and we touched all time highs, I think to the tick. If we take right here, that all time high um, in the chart was uh, 237.47. And if we come over here, all time high, 237.47. We hit it to the exact tick. And um, right now we're getting a little bit of a pullback this morning. You can see um, just a little bit of a gap down, but uh, we certainly don't have too much to worry about here in the tech sector. Very, very strong. So we have completed a relatively rare V bottom um, where we've just rallied all the way back up um, in the NASDAQ. I think it's probably um, reasonable to assume that the bulls are not going to settle for just testing the high. Um, I think they're probably going to find some kind of a way, maybe by the end of the week even, of pushing on through, assuming we don't react to uh, jobless numbers today in, in you know lately we get a jobless numbers it's a jobless number it's a horrible number but the market rallies and maybe that may be the case again today so let's keep an eye on that but we've tested that all-time high to the tick pretty amazing um, when you think about it now let's take a look at our technicals here in the queues and you can see we're very very strong our 50 is now crossed back over the 200 so our, our technicals are really um, all bullish here in in the NASDAQ. Uh, pretty interesting situation. And then if we take a look at IWM, IWM also rallying strongly yesterday, but it had suffered just a little bit more of a pullback by the end of the day. We came up here and very close, very close to its 200-day moving average in testing that. The trend is certainly bullish. There's no nothing in here that suggests any bearishness, but we do want to kind of keep in mind that we are up here testing a major resistance level in IWM. So just kind of keep that in mind as we move forward. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday finally broke a little bit lower and we broke this little bit of a support level right in here and we dropped down toward that 200 day we didn't quite catch it all the way we didn't push it all the way into that 200 day but pretty darn close and we're getting very very close to that 25 handle here in the vix downtrend is still in play we'll have to wait and see if um any kind of fear starts to creep in here after such a large rally, but we'll want to just keep an eye on this. Uh, fear continuing to drop out of the market. A lot more comfort level here in the market right now. Let's take a look at T2122. This is my major concern. We are pegged. In fact, we have stayed pegged up here um, in this T2122. It's a four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see, you can take this back as far as you want to go. Um, we reach up here this high, we generally receive some kind of a pullback. Now, keep in mind this indicator can actually pull back even if the overall market just largely consolidates so we could consolidate along the top up here and still see this pullback with a major with a lot of companies actually getting a slight pullback while others are holding up so we could go sideways here and still see t2122 pullback so please keep in mind that t2122 is not that indicator that suggests that today we have a big sell-off or that we completely reverse these moves but we are a little bit stretched out, and I think everyone would probably agree after six straight days up in the NASDAQ, a little bit of rest is not out of the question. So kind of keep that in mind um, as we kind of slide toward the weekend. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today, and this is uh, going to be kind of an interesting um, uh thing to be paying attention to. Whoops, didn't mean to pick that up. Um, 
As you can see here on our economic calendar, we have some reports today that could move us around and we'll want to pay attention to that this morning. Before the market opens, we're going to get international trading goods and we're also going to get, going to get jobless claims. Now, consensus estimates are for more than one and a half million more people added to the unemployment rolls. We are approaching 20% um, unemployment here in the United States. No one seems to care about that. Everyone's looking out with real hopefulness that all of these businesses are going to quickly rehire folks as we reopen the economy. However, there are some signs that there may be a little bit of trouble with that optimism with several of the southern states seeing a surge in coronavirus cases. You know, as we've opened up, people get in more contact with each other and we're seeing the some of those states surge back up just a little bit. So kind of keep that in mind. This recovery is probably going to be a little bit more challenging than the current bullish situation may suggest. But let's watch that closely. So um, then we have productivity and costs. We have the natural gas report and we have the Fed balance sheet. That's another thing that no one seems to care about anymore. The Fed balance sheet is growing exponentially um, as they buy up everything in sight. Um, but nobody seems to care about the debt anymore. Anymore. Let's take a look at um, um, also Friday and remember that as you plan your day ahead, keep an eye on that Friday number coming out before the market open. Um, that's going to be a pretty um, shocking number, I think. Whether the market reacts to it or not, I don't know. But just kind of keep that in mind that Friday morning we have a big uh, number that could move the market before the market opens. So um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. On our earnings calendar, we have about 68 companies reporting earnings, and we have a few notables this morning, and this is our biggest day of reports um, this week. So let's take a look at some of those notables. We have DOCU. This thing has been in a tremendous rally. Um, this software application just in a tremendous rally. It will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, AVGO, AVGO late uh, last few days have been rallying up strongly toward its earnings report and you can see it will be reporting this morning and we're right back up here challenging resistance in that chart so it's going to be interesting to see how that reports. CIEN is also reporting today strong strong rally as we've been moving up it looks like CIEN getting a little bit of a move lower here first thing this morning we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, DLTH. DLTH will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye. Um, GIII <coughs> will, is reporting today. It looks like it's trying to gap a little bit higher this morning. Um, as retail had a really, really strong day yesterday. Uh, GPS, GPS also in that retail sector had a very strong day yesterday. It's also reporting uh, today. HOV. Um, we'll be reporting today. We have uh, Smuckers, SJM Smuckers, a good defensive company, and it is gapping down this morning, apparently disappointing investors. Um, on that, MTM, oh, MTN. Got to learn how to type. MTN will be reporting today, Val Resorts. Keep an eye on that. And the last one I'm going to bring up this morning, there are a few others, but... ZUMZ will be reporting today, so let's keep an eye on those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading, and I want to wish you great profits. It's been an amazing week of gains, and I got to tell you, even though I have been a little bit cautious and careful and worried about um, um, us getting kind of stretched in this market and honestly probably overly worried about the protests that really the market has had no concern over whatsoever. Um, but having say, said that, I have been holding some really nice long positions, making great profits this week. And um, and I know a lot of folks um, in right way options have been making tremendous, tremendous returns. And many of them took profits yesterday into the close, just kind of reducing their long risk. But 
we have this great bullish move going on in the market, possibly a little bit of pullback. But what's happening right now is we've seen the futures that were down about 150 points first thing this morning have almost completely recovered. As a matter of fact, they're trying to push it out to um, new um, um, morning highs here this morning. So right now, Dow futures are only down 26 points. We're just bulls all the time. It just doesn't seem to matter. Um, bulls are pressing like crazy here. So we could just absolutely ignore the jobless numbers again this morning. And as a matter of fact, find a reason to um, rally on that. And one of those things could be both the ECB and the U.S. Um, are talking about um, more stimulus. So perhaps um, we get news of stimulus and we should um, be able to um, rally even further. And we do have new breaking news out here this morning. The European Central Bank has now um, uh, ramp or has ramped up its uh, bond buying by 1.3 trillion euros. So um, you know, just more and more trillions uh, being spent. So ECB cranking that up here this morning, and that's creating this rally. Let's um, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up this morning. But before we do that, guys, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click click that bell icon when it pops up and if you feel the video is worthy if you got something out of this please make sure and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up um, I'm gonna point out a stock that I actually picked up and purchased yesterday I bought some coca-cola as you guys know I've been kind of keeping an eye on this chart as we consolidate in here we broke the downtrend consolidate in here and that popped up through my alert I went ahead and bought it and I I gotta tell you that was my only purchase yesterday um, and right now it's looking pretty good looks like we may move a little bit higher this morning so coca-cola looking pretty good um, at the moment keep an eye on that good little defensive company and I love trading coke I uh, it's something I trade a, a lot um, one of those companies that I just trade over and over and over and over because it's really easy to trade and pull some profits out of um, um, other charts that you may want to take a look at um, if we take a look at energy, XLE, I hold a large position in XLE, so I want to make sure and let you guys know that when I'm holding these, uh, that I could have a, a bit of a bias in them because I am holding them. Um, and just let you know that uh, uh, that you want to um, evaluate these trades for yourself. Now, I wouldn't suggest um, running into XLE would be a good idea right now. As a matter of fact, after a four-day rally, um, pushing up into um, this gap, that any rest or pullback might be the better opportunity to pick up some oil. But what we do know is that oil um, OPEC ha is continuing their production cuts, um, and that is um, uh, reducing uh, U.S. supplies. And so we may start seeing those oil prices continue to move higher and see some support levels in there holding very strongly. So keep an eye on XLE. There may be an opportunity for another entry. I've been holding this for quite some time, have a very nice profit in this trade. So keep an eye on that chart. You also might want to keep an eye on some of these stocks that are really popping through here. Um, McDonald's breaking that downtrend. I mentioned this one yesterday. MCD made that move yesterday, breaking through that resistance, looking very, very strong. We had AVGO that broke through my alert here um, this week and just continues to move higher. Now, keep in mind, they are reporting. So um, you want to be really, really careful with that. I think there is a chance of a pullback consolidation in here. Um, and that's what I would be looking for at before I jumped into a trade. Take a look at um, stocks like CCJ. CCJ continuing to potentially set up in here in this nice little tight consolidation. We ran back up here, failed that support. I was looking for a short trade here, but the bulls said, nope, no short trade. 
um, we turned around, came right back up here. We're holding that support. So what we want to do is watch for that next potential bullish move and that possibility that we resume the uptrend um, whenever we get that bullish move in here. Watch that one closely. You might also want to take a look at like XPO. Anything in the oil um, sector um, is also bullish. But XP oil here, this industrial sector, looking really good. Pop through an alert and just rested a little bit yesterday so a little bit of rest over here toward trend would not hurt this at all as a matter of fact i think that strengthens the case if we rest over that trend watch for that next potential move higher here in xpo good chart in lots and lots of places how about intel intel um, continues to set up here we have that nice little tight consolidation here couldn't quite get her going yesterday with the rest of the market but we want to watch that opportunity in here of that popping higher and i'll tell you guys what i might do here here, um, another day of rest and I'll probably move my alert down just a little bit to try and catch that first pop up here in that chart so keep an eye on Intel looking pretty decent overall um, another place that you guys probably should look is over into retail we had big moves um, yesterday Kohl's moving higher we saw target making a nice move here target beautiful potential chart so um, retail is another place that you might be able to pick up some great trades so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you great profits once again thank you very much everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment i truly truly appreciate it y'all take care stay safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning have a good day